Ah, oh, what's up guys? Hope you all are doing great. Hope you all are doing great. Alright? Okay, so who's joining us today? Hi, it's Willie, Marquis Collections, John Lee, D. Lapis. Welcome to the live stream. Welcome. Step up package! Let's buy it. <laughs> Bird X, what's up? Z Pro X. <laughs> Gonna see some Z Pro X choke. I think the tournament is starting in about, let's see, 30 minutes. So we have lots of spare time. Let's chill for a bit. Uh, wait for everyone to get into the stream. Plenty of time. <sighs> Dilapis, you are in group 1. Alright, let's cheer for you. Let's cheer for you. Which one are you though? Which one are you? Home based learning, not doing great. Ah, it is what? 10 diamonds? I just got 30 diamonds on my main account. Maybe today is the diamond spin luck. Let's see, what do I get here? Four. Rune pieces. Heck yeah, I'll take it. I will take it. Boom. Get all these rune pieces. Wait, how long will this thing last? 237 days. Five days. Alright, we're gonna claim that. Cheer for Chrono Malice, the Guild Frost. Uh, yeah, I have no idea who to cheer for. Tell me, guys, tell me. Because this is not my natural server. Saber Athena, what's up? Why are you sad? Why are you sad? Taki? I'll take the Taki, I guess. Alright, what group? Group 1, cheer for D Lapis. Let's go. Cheer for group 1 de lapis. Which one is de lapis? This one? <laughs> I'm sacrificing my, my Magnesty cheer because I think he has won before. Cheering for de lapis. Don't let me down. Do not let me down. Make sure you beat, beat Magnesty later on. Oh, you are in Sophia Tree, okay. Celia Abuser. Plus 13. Hmm. Oh no, Livia plus 3. Yeah, that should be fine. Graduating next year. That next week, that's cool. Not sure how are you going to graduate, but okay, okay. Alright, so I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna play um, a bit of arena while waiting. It's gonna be a while. Gonna be a while. Do I even have my my bronze leak set correctly? Let's see. Helena, Pork. No runes on Helena. Yeah, step one is probably getting runes if I actually care about anything. Yeah, this is good enough. This is good enough. Where am I from? I'm from Southeast Asia. Uh, just found out that Seto plus 12 can be one-shotted by Velfern. Uh, yeah, but not always though. Not always. You need graves. You need... Uh, not sure how consistent can that be. Right? Hanya wrecking that lacklist. Oh no, Vals! 
How did Vals fail to kill Corrad? Oh, it's not even awakened. Aha, uh -huh, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Aha, uh -huh, get wrecked. Who's that? Get wrecked. Kana got wrecked. Purify everything. Purify. Natus, Kablam. Which server is more competitive, America or Asia? Uh, <laughs> I think every server is the same. America is uh, larger though. There are more players there. Five points. Easy five points. All right, enough with that. Panda SQ, what's up? What is up? All right, we're just, we're just gonna chill for a bit because we still have about um, 20 minutes or so before it starts, right? So let me know who you guys want me to cheer for. I'm not ex entirely familiar with the America servers player. Antonio, boom, easy. am I gonna watch in the first fight? Hmm, interesting question. Most likely, I'm kind of curious though, I'm kind of curious. Um, the group one, feel like watching the Magnesty one because I know he's a good player. I'll try to pick a, a more even one, aka Omar, what's up? Unawakened Lucius XLDS, will I do a live stream for the Asia server? Uh, I'm not entirely sure though Because it's tomorrow, I'll try my best I'll try my best You know, we'll see how it goes Hell charging up Hit my Aaron, come on Fall for it, hit my Aaron Triple kill! Oh, Frisha survived, what? Yo, does that Frisha have shield runes? Or is she just naturally so tanky? I don't have runes on my... I only have one rune on Hanya. Yeah, I need, I need to rune my Hanya better. Elzza, what's up? Welcome to the live stream. Is this world? What does that even mean? What does that even mean, Omar? What's up, Giovanni Moreno? World Arena? No, it's just a regular, regular arena. This is not my main account, by the way. <laughs> so, in case you guys are wondering why I have a Natus. Why I have a, a Laura, which I don't have on my main account. Yep. It's just specifically right here.
Okay, tournament starting in about 28, 18 minutes, alright? So we can start um, watching some, I think at like 10 minutes or so, like preparing. Maya! Maya in arena. Am I going to post full stream later? Yes, I always post them as full uh, stream later. I have a special um, playlist on my channel called Live Streams. Yeah. Sleep? Actually sleeping during daytime? Or is it nighttime there? Where you're from? Wish you have Rafi. It's not too late. It's not too late. Can always recruit her anytime. Alright, Big Tekken, we'll see you later. <coughs> Double whoop. Orien. Interesting. I should post the live stream on my own Facebook as well. Hmm. Right, let's. Weather is so bad, so sad. Don't be sad, come on. The weather will get better eventually. Should have picked Alec, his meta achieve scores new world bosses. Oh, are we talking about Gorgona? Gorgona and what's the other one? Gorgona and Dagderon, yes. Would I use Venaka and Dwen again? Have always been using them. Just not in the arena. I like your name, Spinal Sister Fat Boy. Jackie Yuan, should I recruit Grand of Velfern? Uh, Grand is definitely still in the meta. Velfern is not, obviously, but he still can be used in certain occasions. 
grand is gonna be cheaper overall because if you have Rafiti already plus three grand is gonna serve you and do a lot of things more than a, a low skill Velfen that is if you have a plus three Velfen for example he is fine but he still dies to a lot of things you need like a plus ten Did I just make it to Silver Tree? Pork. So I'm guessing most players start at Silver 1. A lot of players have been saying that. Maybe I'll just do it for the for the sake of it using this account. <laughs> Helen Wham, what's up? Thinking of building Floria. Yeah, you can build her for sure. But there's no rush, you can do it slowly, right? Over the course of like a couple of months or a couple of weeks. Depends on whether or not you're saving for the current um what do you call that? If you are saving for the Octos, the upcoming Octos. Do I have Nathus already? No. Dalvi? I might actually lose this one because there's a Dalvi. Why did I not pick Dalvi on this account? Oh, that Dalvi is actually OP. Not anymore! Not anymore! Kablam! Zoop! Uh, no, this is not World Arena. This is just a regular regular arena you know why do people assume this is world arena i wish helena will have her companion soon because you have a plus 10 aha uh -huh, interesting okay so let's see if we can start watching some or just pre preparing rather okay i still have no idea which one to watch let me know if you guys have any idea. This one is a challenger challenger rank. This one looks interesting. Oh no, not this one. I prefer to find a more even evenly matched battle. Something like this looks pretty even. Glen 84 against Shunado. Mametoru. Unicorn. Uh, Taiho Kentert. I think Kentert is not joining. He did mention he can't join. So if you guys voted for Kentert, he mentioned that in my Discord that he might not be participating. He's going for camping or something. I don't know. Um, what is this? I wish Helena. Okay. Tell me runes on Yuri. Rage runes, man. I've done like. Four Four, five videos on Yuri already? Come on, come on. I coconut Niel. All right, let me drag it, forward it to Alex Komenemako. <laughs> yeah, am I right? Camping during now. I was quite surprised when he told me that, but uh, he said he's going camping. I'm like, okay, sure. Apparently, it's still allowed in certain countries, I guess. It is what it is. What is happening? Live dashboard. How do I forward something to something? Alex Comenco. Kablam! 
does it work I hope it works not sure how it works <coughs> okay uh, yeah I can watch in about two minutes let me know which one you guys want me to watch Delcol, Taeyeon, Little Chicken Z Pro X Should we watch some Alec in action? Should we? Oh, Z Pro X versus a Grandmaster Pog Belyaf This guy is Belyaf Cho Ten I mean, the Alec can go through the Grand for sure The Grand is like plus 8 It's just the rest of the team There's Natas Livia is plus 9, so that could be used to an advantage. <laughs> Everybody wants to watch that Pro X? Alright, we'll try, we'll try and watch that one, alright? Let's see, what... Group 11 seems like a tough one, I think. Oh, that one is pretty interesting. Aristina, Laures, Astral Skywax. SOXV Will this guy win? I have no idea He is in my discord so Don't let them down Z Pro X Don't let them down Well, the majority voted for Z Pro X, so yeah. Catapult Giza. Who is better, Alec or Beliaf? <laughs> they are both so different though. I mean, Alec will have his use against uh, offensive purposes, but Beliaf is mostly just to to defend. Oh no, is this guy going to be absent? He's not right, because he's right there as a Beliaf. Best unit in Novice Catapult Giza, yep. Definitely, definitely. Under it. Alec is husband. Alright, cast your votes guys, who will win? Z Pro X on the left or oh, Vendetta on the right? <coughs> Q 
Q-Week. I like Q-Week. Q-Week is awesome. <laughs> I hope the Alec doesn't just get countered by Beliaf. Obviously, you can only watch their units from here. Caleron! Caleron, uh, Caleron Abuser! Z Pro X is a Caleron Abuser, how dare he! Angelica Abuser as well! Natus Abuser? Fatal Rune? No Refitia! No Refitia on Z Pro X! Oh, recently got Lucius? Watching my stream during the tournament. Make sure you focus on your own tournament, man. <laughs> Yuri Abuser on the right. Natus plus 12, okay. But this guy has Rafi. This guy know what's up. Rafi versus the world. He doesn't need Rafi, he gets Alec. That's true, that's true. That's true. Benshina. Can Alec one shot this Benshina though? 47,000 should be easy uh, if he has enough buff. But the strategy here is going to depend on. Hmm. Substat defense. Substat attack. Very good. Very good runes. I mean, this one is pretty good. It's a CBS. But this one, huh. I mean, it is a 5 star, right? So, he's hiding a few mercs. Yup, definitely. Z Pro X. Look at Z Pro X, Lucius. Lucius plus 8. Lucius plus 8. How about the other guy? Any Lucius? No Lucius. Maybe there's a Lucius somewhere plus 0. We never know. Alright, apparently more person, more people cheered for Z Pro X. Oh, here goes! Here goes! The match is starting. Z Pro X goes first! Let's go, Z Pro X. Let's see what do you have. Gloria! What? <laughs> Cecilia not awakened. What's wrong with you, man? Can't you just awaken her? Oh, Z Pro X and his secret strategy of Michaela to Natus. Beliaf to Albion Strat is the infamous Beliaf to Albion Strat. So Z Pro X know what's up. He knows what's up. He know there's a Torn coming. There's an Omega Torn coming. He go in with his Hyper Buff Alec. Very smart. I don't think it's actually smart. It might not be smart actually. Is it smart? It might be smart right here. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, ZProx is thinking real hard. Will he put his Angelica later on? Or will he use his Caleron? A plus 6 Caleron. Alright, let's see, let's see. I'm not sure if going uh, Alex so early on is such a good idea. I mean, assuming this is going to counter the hit one shot the Grand, right? But, hmm, it's very risky. Very risky. Christina going in later. Yuri! Z Pro X Yuri plus 3! Z Pro X has a Yuri plus 3! Ah! Alright! Here comes! Z Pro X, time is up! Ended up with a Cowley.
All right, let's see what is Z Pro X gonna do. What is Z Pro X gonna do? I mean, what is Vandeta gonna do? All right, so there's a couple of options. There's uh, Yuri right here. Hmm. There's gonna be skeletons though, regardless. Yes, the ally is gonna one shot the whoever that will be placed by the Albion, but there will be skeletons. So maybe the skeletons is all he needs. Maybe that's the entire plan. Let's see. Let's see what do we have. Livia! This Livia is plus 9. I'm not sure if Zed Pro X is aware of that. Livia is plus 9. Vals. Plus 4 Vals. Okay. Tachibana, what's up? Welcome to the live stream. Kaminoge Cecilia goes top. Let's see. Maybe that's the... <laughs> Maybe that's the strategy. We will see. Okay, uh, Yuri plus 14 from Vandetta. That is very interesting. Yuri plus 14. So will Z Pro X use his Caleron right here? Let's see if Z Pro X will actually execute and use the Caleron. Okay, Z Pro X is thinking real hard. He has to place three mercenaries. Angelica! Z Pro X went with the Angelica just to block the Vals. Very smart. Very smart. Caleron! Actually using Caleron! Z Pro X is using Caleron. Angelica front. Oh, you have 6 seconds to decide. Why don't you use BDMN? Christina last. Okay, just in case there's a Glacia, eh? I like it. I like it, but we will see. We will see. That Livia, man. That Livia is going to one-shot the Angelica if he's not careful. Oh, everything is set. Let's see. That Livia will die. The power of Alec. No. Oh, boom. Okay. Is that GG, though? Is that GG on the enemy? Did Z Pro X get a free win? Caleron taking the hits. Z Pro X with the moves. Kaoliton. Grand. Caleron going in. Very cool. Here comes Angelica. Buff prohibition is up. DOT. Yes, Glacia will slowly. Natas. Boom. Yuri still survive. GG Z Pro X is gonna win this. Yes, Z Pro X is winning this. All right, looks like Z Pro X will get an easy victory, somewhat, or maybe not. Maybe there's a there's a comeback on the grand. All right, never mind. <laughs> okay, so hmm, Alec Power. That's it. Z Pro X got the win. Gets the win and we'll proceed to the next one. Alright, so we're gonna see if there's any other... Okay, a lot of uh, players that I cheered for are out. Waiting for results. Interesting, interesting. Let's see who did proceed, who did not proceed. Okay, uh, D Lapis. <laughs> I've cheered for you, come on. Lost on the, against Amadiot. Not sure what happened right there. Okay. Group 2. Bad against myself. <laughs> Valium. Glen 84. MDSX Canted wins by default I thought this guy went for camping What's happening? Okay Uh-huh Very interesting Alright, we'll slowly watch the group R64 later on
โอเคเจอวะดีดีหรอโครโนแมลิอัสเลจันดารีปันดาโอ้เดี๋ยวสามวันคนเลจันดารีปันดาแอนดี้สกายลอสโอเค3400 cheers on him gone down the drain okay very interesting Tachibana won congrats okay so Mega Somia interesting Pico okay Sox V1 interesting Fatty Waffle I voted for this guy. 3,700 votes. Is that the highest vote ever? <coughs> Got wrecked in group 4 bracket. <laughs> Panda's family member lose. Alright, so the next match is starting in 11 minutes. <laughs> Plus, I think Hellerron is good. Yeah, I'm not gonna go for that right now. Stuck on Underground Evil Castle, stuck on Floor 15, don't have Rafitia. Uh, do you need Rafitia though for Floor 15? Floor 15, no, you don't need Rafitia. Rafitia makes it easy, but you don't need Rafitia. You can use Mikaela to. Mikela to Serubia, that's gonna be enough. Or Veronia if you have it. No results here, what's happening? Still going on match? Waiting for results, okay. Okay, so looks like we have most of the R of 64, except for group 16. Maybe the match is still going on. Uh, group 9, Group 8 Serin, okay, okay Very interesting, alright, Group 1, 2, 3 still have Group 1 and 2, still have one uh, player Not yet joined Don't understand English very well uh, You can use Mikela and Veronia, I think you just need strong buffs, right? You don't need Rafitia. Why do you need Rafitia for that? No high ranking arena. Alright, so let's watch uh, some of these underground arena matches while waiting. Eris Dina, 3200 points. Alright, no wonder he has so many votes. Dreamcast lost first round in group 16. Yeah. Alright, so Rafitia to Beliaf. Hmm. Rafitia. Albion? Why is the Albion in the middle of the Natas? What? That is kind of weird, but okay. Asmut. Asmut to Christina, okay. So we're learning the Aristina strat right here with the Yuri back. There's a lacklist just for that. Okay, okay. So what's the point of the Albion then? Okay, uh very interesting. The Grand is very is positioned in a very weird spot. I think the Livia won't the Livia be able to one-shot her later on. Okay, we see a Grand. Very interesting formation, let's see. So Christina will go first, but yeah, Asmode to Christina and how did the Cecilia survive? Shield rune? Okay, Asmode is plus zero. Okay, all right. Here comes Yuri. Kablam. Okay, Yuri went back. Interesting. Uh oh, 
Wait, is it Natas first or is it Livia first on buff? So everyone is hitting the Grand. So we're gonna see Christina again in action. Asmut to Christina action. Okay. Here comes Natas. Boom. Okay, Livia will hit Glacia instead. Okay. Okay. Who's winning this? What do you guys think? They're still adding. They're still adding on Aristina though. So there's that. But there's still Livia. There is a Livia on buff. Can he make it through? Round 2. Can he make it through to round 2? Maybe not. Maybe yes. Come on Yuri. Do something. Alright, so Aristina is winning that. <coughs> yeah, because the S mode right here is plus zero, I wasn't expecting a, a plus zero S mode being used, but okay. Maybe it's just to throw off the opponent sometimes, or just to scare the opponent sometimes. I mean, it's worth worth trying right because there is Beliaf plus Mikaela so that is quite a lot of <laughs> that is quite a lot of crit damage going on as an Asmut user that makes me really sad to see <laughs> uh, how did that Yuri struggle come on I think Yuri is gonna make it eventually or am I wrong or is this Livia too strong Nah, there's no way. That Yuri is gonna one-shot that. Oh, maybe? Oh, because uh, this Livia has 100% defense, right? Yeah. That Yuri will do it eventually. Takes time. It was a fun match to watch for sure. Okay, so we still have five more minutes. Group 1, still no winner. What's happening on group 1 right there? Group 5. Entei, Nox, Cows, very interesting match. 4,000 votes cheers on Nox. Celia Abuser, is it actually Celia? I don't see any Celia, there's a Vals though. Okay. Yo, did you just kick me to the... No target, what does that mean? Oh, both of these guys went AFK? And then like, so this guy is going to get an easy win. Congratulations to Chrono Malai Malaise. Chrono Malaise, congratulations. You're going to get a free win to go to R of 32, I guess. And then you might fight one of Magnasty versus Amelot. Oh, it's starting. Which one should I watch? Let's watch a different one. Instead of watching Z Pro X again. Very interesting. Alright, I guess we can watch DR vs Tachibana. Both Grandmaster players. Let's give this a watch. Hopefully they are both present. Two accounts. Two accounts abuser. Okay, uh, let's have a look. I can't see Tachibana's... Um, Mercenaries? I have no idea why. Is it a bug? Okay, so what do we have on DR on the left? Okay, so we have a Vals plus 10. Very interesting. Strong runes as well. Oh, both 162. That's insane. Lyudmila plus 15. 7,000 HP Lyudmila. Okay. Oh. Oh, that is insane, man. That is insane. What do we have on Dalvi? Dalvi, huh? We have a uh, very strong runes as well. Add in. Okay. How about Yuri? Plus twelve Yuri. Okay, that is not something I see often. Usually it's either a plus fourteen or a plus zero. But yeah, somewhere in between that. Very cool. Grand is plus fifteen. Okay, it is a vital shield though. 
So there's a potential if Tachibana has a Dalvi, that could be a thing that can be used to counter that. Plus zero Lucius, we have a Cecilia with shield runes. Alright. Glacia plus 15, Lacklist plus 6. Chalkal and Natus, Raffi, Albion, and Veronia. Let's see. Seven, almost 70% defense. Very good, very good. Alright, let's pay close attention to to these two players. Why can't I look at Tachibana's um, roster? Albion as well, Albion Grand, plus 14 Grand. There's uh, Benshina, okay. So there's Rafitia, very cool. So Tachibana has a plus 14 Yuri. Um, Glacia, Cecilia, Livia is plus 10, I assume, plus 12 Natus. Okay. So Tachibana has Lyudmila as well, I believe. Alright, so let's have a look. We're gonna have a look. Why am I in the rank 1 in round 2? What does that mean? Should have Yuri plus 9 by the end of the month. Well, there's no rush. Uh, she doesn't get much at plus 9. Ideally, plus 12 is the good stopping point, I guess. Um, if you want the, the double, double damage tank thing potential. Okay, so this is gonna be fun, I think. Should I invest Yuri to plus 10? Oh, I wouldn't. If, if you can invest in Yuri, it has to be plus 12, right? For me, that's just for me. I do think plus 12 will, will be much bigger impact. Not to say that plus 10, there's no impact at all. Definitely there is, but it's just that you might not even probably observe it. I cheer the people with the most cheers. Smart choice. Smart choice right there. <laughs> Smart choice right there. Another two companion. Yeah, just don't rush it. If you're saving for the Octos, do not rush it. We know the Octos are coming real soon. Just wait for a bit. Just wait for a bit. All right. You might need to hold on to your remaining diamonds unless you're gonna use scrolls. Mimi, what's up? All right. Let's go. Zero entering time. Okay, what do we have right here? Okay, Tachibana is going first. Let's have a look what's the strategy right here that will be applied. Okay, Rafitia to Natus. Okay, very cool strategy. So we know there's a Natus going to the mid. Rafitia to Natus as well. Is that what we are observing right here? Let's see what's the response from Dia. Alright. Rafitia to Natus as well. Actually, mirror formation. Mirror moves right there. Alright, what's the third one? Will it be an Albion? Natus bottom. Okay. So keep in mind Tachibana does have a Cecilia. Uh, Cecilia somewhere. Both of them have Cecilia. So they have to pay close attention to that. If they want to place Natus where they, they are, they need someone to hit front. Preferably a Dalvi or a Yuri or whatever. Just to eliminate Cecilia just in case. Okay. So we see a Livia to Albion. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, he's thinking real hard. He has a Veronia. He does have Ventana though, alright, it is a plus 10. Extremely ready for the upcoming companions. 
But what combo is this? Is it Verona to Lyud Mila? Verona to Dalvi? Wow! Veronia to Dalvi, okay. Okay, very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Alright, so Tachibana is definitely going to hit first with the Dalvi. And fortunately for him... Oh no, there's a Chalkle right here though. There's a Chalkle. There's a potential that DR might place just a Chalkle on that lane. So that could be a scary thing to to try and counter. Uh, Lute Mila. Okay. What is Tachibana gonna do? Is Tachibana gonna block with a Cecilia at the back? Because we know there's a Veronia Lute Mila coming. The Veronia Lute Mila is coming. So we have to be careful right here. Natus is dead. I'm guessing there's a Chalkle mid. Just to block that. But where, where are you going to place the Chalkal then, right? Because Dalvi hits everywhere. Okay, there's a Glacier mid. Okay, he, he didn't go... He didn't want to go for the Chalkal strategy. And I commend him for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ventana! Ventana to get rid of Glacier later on. Yuri! Shouldn't he place Yuri first so that he hits more units? Okay, that is interesting though. So we have a Yuri, we have a Grand at the back. Plus 14. Will the Grand die though? That's the question. I think Grand can live through with the damage reduction from Rafitia, yeah. Should be enough. Should be enough. Alright, let's see. Tachibana has still deciding. So there's a Christina that will go in to get rid of Glacia later on. So he swapped Yuri away with Glacia. I would prefer this Ventana to be to be something like a, a <laughs> I don't know a Yuri maybe a Grand. Okay, even though there's a Ventana, Chalco. Oh, there's a Chalco. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Let's go. Dalvi gonna die from charcoal right there. Oof. Big oof. Alright, here is the power of Lyudmila. Can Lyudmila do this? Okay, we, she did get rid of Livia. That is good. Ventana! Ventana power right there. Oh no, Natus! Oh, that, that taunt was a bit late. That turn was a bit late. Okay, the strategy almost could have worked. Oh, here comes Natus. Boom! There goes Adin. And I don't think Dia has anything to deal with enemies Grand right here. I mean, she still has Lyudmila, but it doesn't look like it's enough. And that's an Albion buffed Grand as well. And then Ventana is going to go in. Okay, this is going to be a long match, I think. But we will see. Most likely, Tachibana will be granted the victory right here. So is it Veronia to Ventana? Okay. Even then, it's still not enough. Even then, it's still not enough. Okay, that. Uh, Lyudmila is slowly chirping away in the HP. Not looking good right there. But, hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. You know what? Most likely Tachibana is going to win this. It's quite hard for Dia to have a comeback. Because at the end of the day, when the Grand dies... It's going to lean towards Tachibana. Z Pro X lost. <laughs> GG. How come Grand can be shot from Albion skill? Because he hit another Grand. So when when Grand Hilde hits another Grand Hilde, uh, that shot will reflect back onto her because of Grand's interaction with her own skill, right? It, it only happens when Grand hits a Grand. If someone else, let's say a, a Glacier with Albion's 
grand hits grand, then that will not happen. Very long match indeed. I like the strategy from Dia to block with the Glacier, Albion Glacier strategy. Uh, that looks like a decent one, but yeah, it, it didn't work out in the end. Lyudmila, Veronia, Serendia to kill Gran. Round 10, here comes! Okay, so now we're gonna see some probably better action right now. It's just a matter of time before the Ventana one shots the Grand right there. Or will Lyudmila do it first? Will Lyudmila has the power? Who will have the power first? Bleeding? Oh, this is a plus 15 Grand with. Okay, Shield Rune. Maybe that's why the Shield Rune helps. Oh no, uh, Lumila is not in Veronia's, it's not in Rafitia's buff, I just realized that. That could be one of the things as well, that's affecting the, the win. Is this it? Is this Ventana power enough? Boom! Oh, it's finally enough! Alright. Will this be enough? Boom! Oh, it's enough! Oh, never mind. GG. Alright. Congrats to X Tachibana. Proceeding to the next one. The next rank. Okay, so let's see. Group 1, we have Magnesty versus Crolomalize. Group 2, Bilian versus Shunedo. Ah, that's gonna be an interesting one to watch. Group 3, we have Mametoru versus MDSX. Group 4, Taiyon, Tombstone, 1, 2, 3, BTC, Chinese Name, Kanrit, Jerva, Vals Ahago, Nox, Entei. Maybe we'll watch this later. I'm kind of curious because these two players seem to be in Challenger or Grandmaster rank rather. So maybe we'll see some interesting strategy proceeding forward. So that's in Group 7. Alright, so XB. Chrono Malice attracts extra Chibana. Uh huh, very interesting. Okay, Rise Force 1, Mega Somia, Z Pro X. Okay, so Aris D now will be fighting against. Uh, is that Chinese? I can't tell. Korean, Chinese, look like Chinese. Pico Ziki. Okay, SOXV did not make it. We have a wild card. Who's Al Guvian? Al Guvian. Let's see. Pierre Giu Tomioka. Fatty Wafer. Sashimi. This one is an interesting one to watch as well. You know what? Let me know which one you guys prefer to watch between group 15 and group 7. I'm still deciding between these two. Because uh, there's Challenger and Grandmaster rank players right there. Add in Natus plus fourteen. Group fifteen fishy win. All right, be right back shortly. Ugh. <sighs> 
well majority of you voted for fatty fatty waffle fatty waffle okay so what does sashimi has this guy is currently in challenger alec whoa this guy might be the true z pro x version 2.0 <laughs> wait he does have refitia all right so he might be a better z pro x after all he does have refitia and alec and angelica and Nathus and Gran and Lucius plus 10 he has everything all right this guy might actually be the better Z Pro X that you guys have been waiting for so maybe he has more hidden units that we don't see right let's have a look at this Guild Wars formation yep obviously he will have Glacia Livia plus 10 wait he has Livia but he didn't use it in his main arena team, Pork. Okay, he does have everything. He looks like he has everything. <laughs> so, why is no one voting for him? Why is everyone voting for Fatty Wafer? Huh. <laughs> I don't know, man. Sashimi might actually be the contender right here. Let's see. Alec is a meme legend. Okay, we will see. We will see. Fatty is cooler. <laughs> all right, you never know. Maybe Sashimi is pretty cool. He has all these plus 15s hidden away. You never know. All right, so most likely we'll be watching this one. Alright, 20 seconds, let's go. 20 seconds and then we can watch some action. Okay, let's queue up. Vote for everyone in channel 1. Okay, let's see if Sashimi has what it takes to bring down the 3721 cheers from Fatty Waffle and make 3721 people disappointed. <laughs> let's see if that will happen. Hmm. Alright, again, this is not going to be easy. Okay, we know there's an S mode right here. Did this guy just exit and change some runes somewhere? He might be back with some unique mercenaries. We're gonna find out. Angelica plus 15, okay. 15, Christina, add in. Yudmila is 14. Yuri is 14. Lucius plus 1, okay. Alright, interesting. But what's happening to Fatty Wafer? It doesn't look like he was... He is in the... Did he exit or did he get disconnected or something? Hopefully he comes back because his... Livia Mercenary is now like faded out. Not sure what's happening. Distribute Spirit. Oh, he's back. Was anything changed? Nothing was changed. Maybe you can't see it right here. He might have swapped some runes or something. That rune looked different. Was that there before? Hmm. Assault, assault. Dual runes. Okay, okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool.
Am I gonna stream Asia Tony? Uh, I have no idea, man. Maybe, maybe not. I can't. I don't have confirmation as of now, unfortunately. What is that? Ten years of playing. Mimi Zetsu. Mimi Zetsu. Okay. So we have about two minutes left. Let's see. Let's see how will it be like. I'm curious if... Okay, since both of them have Albion, right? This is a strategy that I'm thinking. Both players have Albion, I assume? Wait. Sashimi does not have Albion. I thought I saw an Albion from him. Okay, Sashimi does have a dual shield grand. That's going to be interesting. Uh, wait, Sashimi does not use Alec. He doesn't use Alec right here. Why? Why would you not bring in an Alec? He does have Livia though, but no Alec. I mean, he does have Adin already, so... There's that. But there is... A Gloria at plus 9. Okay, okay. So that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, Sashimi did not bring in his Alec. Maybe he doesn't want to do the Veronia combo. Maybe he doesn't have Veronia. Does he not have Veronia? Dalvi, Dalvi is here. Okay. But yeah, that's kind of, kind of interesting. Alec will win the match. There's no Alec though, unfortunately. <laughs> he decided not to bring it, brought it, bring it in. No Alec guaranteed loose. We will see, man. We will see. I mean, Z Pro X has Alec, but he lost. So we never know what's the true, the true aspect of of things right here. Here goes. Let's go. Lucius is the biggest wall for Alec. Yep. Alright, so Fatty Wafer gets to go first. Let's see the positioning. Let's pay attention to everything that this guy is doing. Because 3,700 of you voted shirt for him. Hopefully he don't let you guys down. Alright. So we have a Rafitia going straight up in the middle. Like, just in the middle. Same goes for Natas. Alright. Oh, decided to swap it out with Livia. Livia. Natas, Rafitia, Natas, let's go. Alright, so what's the response here from Sashimi? Sashimi has made it this far. Can he actually do something? So I'm guessing a Rafitia to Mikela or something. And then maybe a Natas as well. Because these two players does have them. And that's usually the, the way to start. But we might see something different right here. Alright, Rafitia all the way in front. I'm not sure if you want to do that, buddy. Not sure if you want to do that because there's a Adin, there's a Dalvi. If Fatty Waffle goes for it, he might... This guy didn't watch my Underground Arena <laughs> tips video, come on! Don't place your Rafitia in front like that, come on! You know if a Dalvi comes, your Rafitia is gone bye-bye and you won't have the ability to buff at all. Don't do it! Don't do it! Unless... Unless it's a bit. Unless it's a bit, let's see. Because there's a Lacklist right here. It could be a bit. Alright, so one, two, three. Okay, very interesting. What could we potentially have? I'm guessing both parties will try to incorporate their Lyudmilas, but we will see. We will see.
he got Lackless. Lackless will not help if Fatty Waffle knows how to chain all the way to turn 6 and then BAM with the Dalvi. He does have S mode after all. Aha! Uh -huh. That might work! It's a plus 10 S mode. 63% Raffi O. Oh. That is gonna be really tough. It's really risky though. Will it be enough though? S mode with 374. This S mode is pretty strong, alright. Okay, Angelica going. He's going all in! Going all bottom! Not even scared of the Nutters. Maybe there's gonna be a Cecilia in front. Maybe there will be a Cecilia in front. If I am Sashimi, I would place a Dalvi right behind the Rafitia. But okay, he decided to go for a different approach. I would prefer the Dalvi in skip. Hmm. Maybe Dalvi in front of Yuri? So that in case Rafitia dies. In case Rafitia dies. Because Angelica is skip, right? There's a chance this Rafitia might die because of Asmode right here. So Angelica goes skip. Hit Dalvi, but th in this case, your Natus will die. So maybe put Yuri in front of Dalvi as well, just in case. You don't know if this Rafitia will die or not. It's kind of, kind of risky. But again, there might be a Lacklist, we never know. Oh, okay, there's an Angelica there. Very smart. Very smart. I'm not sure what Fatty Waffle will do. He might have to abandon the lane. We will see. It's an Albion after all. It's an Albion. Lucius! Lucius! Okay, so who will block the Natus? Very interesting response from Fatty Waffle. Natus Insta dead. Rafi Natus Insta dead. Yup, Alec is so good in Underground Arena, right? But yeah. <laughs> add in! Oh, we have a response right here. We have a response. We have an add in. So the only thing that can save Sashimi is to have a taunt. A taunter. Sashimi will need a taunter. Okay, the add in is gonna be blocking. The add in is a sacrificial add in. Or maybe it's not because of the Albion right here, right? Okay, Fatty Waffle have a very interesting strategy. So this Dalvi will end up hitting the Grand. But the Grand has Vital Runes. Okay, Banshina. Alright, here goes. Here goes. Okay, so Rafitia buffing. Natas charging up. And then we have Veronata Asmod. Will this be enough? Rafitia, will it survive? No! Rafitia is dead on Sashimi! Alright, so we have the Albion buff Grand. Natus is dead as well. Okay, so from this point, Dalvi is gonna go in, hit the Grand. It's all on Angelica now. Oh no! Add in! Just one-shotting both of them. Alright. So is there still hope left? Let's see. So add in is charm though. That add in is charm. So it's kind of uh... Rafitia will be able to purify that, let's see. So we're gonna have a Natus going in on the top lane. Kablam! Gran is still alive! Okay. So Yuri barely could smack away that Glacier. What plus is that Yuri? That Yuri is plus 14. Alright, that's the strongest form of Yuri possible already. Angelica getting rid of the Gran right there. And add in slowly. It's a frozen Yuri at this point, there's nothing much that he can do. Benshina going in and one shot. Two of them. Is there still hope? There is still Benshina. Alright, Angelica hyper buff, kablam. Benshina is dead. And GG. Fatal, Fatty Waffle will be getting the victory right there. It looks like. If only Sashimi has something like an Alec, that would have been better, I think. But yep. That was a, an interesting match for sure. Add in, kablam. Yeah, the Rafitia front was extremely risky from the beginning, right? Uh, I, I knew that was extremely risky. If you guys have not yet seen my Underground Arena tips, I did like top 8 Underground Arena tips like mistakes that players always do. 
check that video out because I did mention that do not place your units too front or too back. Even if you have blacklist, it's just risky, man. It's very risky. <clears throat> All right, let's see what do you have. Okay, so only a handful of units. So this is going to be interesting. So we'll have to proceed later on. Alright, so group 16A and group 16B. So we are left with a handful of people. Alright, so we have Magnasty, Shunedo, MDSX, Tombstone 123, BTC, Vals Ahego, Entei XB. We have Atrex, Megasomia, Erisdina, Ziki, Walcart, Pierre, Pierre, Fatty Waffle, Flick. Okay, that's gonna be an interesting one. I can't believe I voted for MDSX and he actually made it right here. But no one made it to group A. I should have voted for Magnasty actually. He was one of the previous tournament champs, I believe. But yeah, from this point onwards, later on we can watch some of the, the ones that's going on. Out of 16 onwards now. Okay, so for the time being, yeah, let me know which one you guys prefer to watch. Aris Dina? You guys want to watch Aris Dina? Which one is this? Aris Dina, alright. Out of 16B. It looks like... It looks like this user is fighting another... Uh, let's see. Plus 10, plus 12... Okay, that could be an interesting one. Wait, is there a no Rafitia team? No Rafitia? No Rafitia on Ziki. Alright, this just calls it. There's Serendia, there's Veronia. Okay. Very cool, very cool. Uh, Z Pro XXX. Vals Ahagao, that username. Vals Ahagao, what is he all about? Let's see. Vals Ahagao. He does have Elijah. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. Alright, he is fighting BTC. I mean like, look at the chair right here. 3000, 3000. Ho! Huh. Stomping Ziki. Aristina stomping Ziki. Yeah, maybe we can watch BTC versus Vals Ahagao. This could be an interesting one as well because look at the chairs. Like that is so even right 3584 3520 holy like <laughs> one way or another someone is going to lose their, their chairs right here all right majority of the chairs Yeah, um, that one is in group 9, I think. Uh, Atrex proceeded to R of the 32. Can't resist. Not easy, man. It's not easy. All right. Okay, let me know which one you guys prefer to watch. You prefer to watch BTC versus Vals Ahagao, or you guys prefer to watch Aris Dina versus Ziki. All right, let me know. Ventana Strat.
So who is this flick guy? Let's see. This is a Fatty Waffles next opponent. Kai's Windmaster. Nope, this is Brave9. Welcome to the live stream. Glacia. Oh, we have this. Natus. Adin. <laughs> I see a few Ahegao, Ahegao, BTC, Vals. Alright, majority voted for this one. Yeah, look at Vals Ahegao. Don't vote for me. He literally vote there. Don't vote for me. Alright. <laughs> Yet. You guys didn't listen. 3,000 of you. 3,000 of you voted for him. Man, that costume is so cool. Ludia! Ludia in 2020. And he's in Grandmaster as well with the Ludia power. How good is this rune? Okay, okay, 26%. Wait, it's not that good of a rune actually. But it seems like he's using it with uh, decent success. Hmm. 26, 27. Ah. If this works, then he's. It definitely works, right? Because he's in Grandmaster, so. Kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Wait, what? Benshina is right here. That's a lot of grace, man. That's a lot of grace. Interesting. Interesting. Still works 90% of the time, yeah. But I thought like people would actually try to make it 95 or something at least. Maybe not 100, 100 is really hard, but 95 or something would be great. But with all the 100% defense units out there, like is there a point? I don't know. Adin, Angelica, can kill Ludia. Christina, yeah. Christina cannot, Yuri cannot, Valve cannot. Adin can't. Hmm. That's a, that's new for me. But I'm assuming Adin needs like a lot of a lot of a reduction in the HP to deal a ton of damage. Okay, so let's observe both the teams and have a rough idea on what we are about to expect. All right. So majority of you guys, three thousand of you guys, cheered for them. So hopefully none of them will let you guys down. So plus 15 Angelica, we have a plus 15 Ludmilla on the BTC side. Dalvi is maxed out. Okay, Adin is maxed out as well. Yuri plus 14. Zakan, actually a Zakan. Okay, that is interesting. A Zakan. Okay, we have a Lucius plus 10. Plus 10 Lucius. Benshina. Shield runes Benshina. Very important to take note of. Shield runes Benshina. Alright, so Cecilia, we have Lacklis plus 9. Okay, he does have both Chalkel and Zakan, so I'm expecting. And Beliaf! Oh, I haven't seen much Beliaf. Alright, that's good to see more Beliaf. I'm guessing because uh, America server, most players don't really go for Beliaf. But if <laughs> this is Asia server, Beliaf is like everywhere. You would see Beliaf everywhere. Right, we have Vals plus 10 for... I mean, this is Vals Ahegao, right? Why would he not have Vals plus 10? Plus 15 Lyudmila Plus 15 Dalvi Plus 15 Christina Okay Let's see, plus 14 Yuri Plus 10 Lucius Both of them has plus 10 Lucius, actually Okay, none of them has Albion One thing that I've noticed, none has Albion 
uh, Livia on the right side. Alright, so Valve Ahagal has Livia, BTC has Beliaf. So that's a huge difference. They need to utilize their, their legendaries accordingly. Rafitia is plus 15 on both sides, okay. Wait, there's no Rafitia on BTC, I just realized that. Is there no Rafitia on BTC? Okay, no Rafitia on BTC. There's Beliaf though, okay. That's something to keep in mind. Really? No no Rafitia on BTC? Ah, I'm quite surprised actually. <laughs> no matter what, 3,500 people will be disappointed. Exactly. Alright. So it matters which side of the 3,500 now. I forgot what does Veronia gets at plus 15. I think she gets... She's tankier. She doesn't give more buffs anymore. Something around this, this skill, I think. It should be somewhere on this skill. That she gets some improvements. Michaela, okay. Let's see. Gran is plus 3, okay. That's something to take note of. Yeah, that is something to take note of. So how about Gran? There's no Gran on BTC. Don't think that's going to matter much. She does have Beliaf. Destiny versus Adin. I just noticed on Vas Ahagao's mercenary composition, like Lucius is literally the only guy right here. The rest are all females. <laughs> Not sure if that's intentional. Like once Lucius gets the companion, then it will be all female. Full female team. Alright, let's go. Okay, so Vals Ahaga will be going first. I'm expecting a Rafitia to Michaela to Natus. Alright, that's something that's very common. Alright, I was right. So we have a Rafitia to Michaela. Okay, so what about BTC? Remember, BTC do not have any Rafitia. So that could be a huge difference of winning or losing. But there's a Beliaf. There is a Beliaf. Alright, let's see. So we see a Beliaf to Michaela so far. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, so we have a Beliaf, Michaela to Christina. Very interesting. Christina first. Okay. Okay. Very interesting approach. Nartus in the middle. Okay. Rafitia, Michaela, Nartus. BTC pick Chalker and Zakan because he likes going second. Yeah, most likely. Most likely that's the case. Alright, so we have an add in going first, is it? Oh, he decided to switch it up a little bit. Okay. Yuri going first. I'm not sure I like the Yuri going so fast. Uh, it could just be blocked with a Lucius in front or something. But yeah, Vals Ahagao has to be really careful. So that the Beliaf don't die. If Beliaf dies, there goes the, the skeleton buffs. This Beliaf has to leave. 
this Belial has to leave no matter what if he wants to counter this successfully. Vals are her gal. You have 12 seconds left. Vals are her gal. 10 seconds, Vals are, place your units. Vals are her gal. You have 5 seconds, Vals are her gal. What are you doing? Alright, Glacia. Yuri to Glacia. Vals are her gal is nervous. Oh, time's up. He managed to place everyone. Okay, he did manage to place everyone, I think. Yep. Okay, so Yuri first. Yuri first. That's easily blockable. If it's a Yuri first. Uh, definitely a Lucius front. I will approach it that way. But the problem right here is... He can use Lucius, he can use Cecilia, he can even use Lacklist, right? Like BTC has Lacklist right here. He can use Lacklist somewhere on top. Nata's bottom, okay. Very interesting. Uh-huh, I actually like it. I will use Dalvi because I have a feeling um, Vaz Ahagao is not going to, it don't plan to protect that Rafitia. So I will use Dalvi on top. If I were him. Angelica. Angelica. Lucius front. No, 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 no. That Belief is gonna die. That Belief is gonna die if you place Lucius like that. Oh no. Oh no. Is that a mistake? Is that a mistake? That has to, gotta be a mistake, right? One, two, three, four. That Belief will die. That Belief will die, right? Uh, I'm not sure if he wants to use Lacklist at this point because uh, he could have avoided that. I don't know. But we will see. But if he is using Lacklist, he could have placed the Lucius one tile back, right? Like one tile back. Ugh. Okay, so let's see if he is aware of it and he actually places Lacklist. My, my, my question is, is he, does he know though? I hope he knows. I hope he knows, because this Yuri is coming in. If that Belief dies, everything just gone, all right? But maybe he's trying to trick Vals Ahagal into believing that he forgets, that he forgets, right? Maybe that's the, that's the whole point. Lucius, Livia, okay. Okay, very interesting, very interesting, a grand. Oh, we have a grand at the end. Okay. So what will Vals Ahagao use? Will Vals Ahagao use... There's a Zakan. I don't see a Lacklist. I don't see a Lacklist. There's no Lacklist. There's no Lacklist, guys. There is no Lacklist. That Belia will die. But let's see. There's still a chance, right? There's still a chance. Is he aware of this? You have 50 seconds to think carefully. 50 seconds to think carefully. Oh no. Alright, let's see. There could be a potential fluke right here. Yuri. Oh, Belief gone. Instantly. Belief gone. Christina. Ah, uh, that Rafitia lives through, obviously. That's gonna happen. Okay, so Angelica hits that Glacier. Edin dies. There's no barely have to counter that Natus in round 2 though, that's the problem. Oh man, 1 HP. 1 HP Glacier. Oh, that was enough. No more Natus. No more Natus. Can BTC do it? Here comes Yuri. Oh, here comes Christina. Natus first? Okay. They're still adding on BTC. Angelica! Even though the Bell Elf died, Lucius is taking the hits. Lucius plus 10. Lucius plus 10 actually taking all the hits. Okay, this could potentially be it. Lucius plus 10 is hanging on in there. Here comes Natas. Boom. Alright, there's still Livia and Yuri. There's still Livia and Yuri. Who Lucius plus 10 on the other end as well. Both of them has Lucius plus 10. Man, this Ludmilla. This Ludmilla need to wake up. 
from the frozen state. Lyudmila needs to wake up from the frozen state. Natas. All right, Lucius plus 10. That Lucius plus 10 might not hang on any much longer. Oh no, that Lucius plus 10. Both Lucius plus 10 did. GG. BTC got it. BTC. Even though the Belief died. Man, that Belief died, but BTC got it at the end. Vals Ahagal GG. All right, there's no Vals on your end. Even though your name is Vals Ahagal, but there's no Vals. Come on. Come on. Okay, from this point onwards, it's gonna be... Let's see. We will be watching... Why did I exit? I think from this point onwards, we can actually watch all the um, R16 matches. So I'm gonna do that. Can I though? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna try to replay and re-watch all of this R16 while... Deciding for the next one, alright? So Shunado, Tombstone 1, 2, 3, BTC, Entei And we have Mega Somia, Aris Dina Alright, well, I'm gonna watch the... I'm gonna watch the Mega Somia versus Aris Dina next But for now, let's watch the replay of the R of 16 matches Alright, we have plenty of matches to watch Let's watch Pierre versus Wildcard Pierre versus Wildcard. What do we have right here? Okay, Rafitya to Livia. Albion first. That's an interesting strategy, okay. Rafitya to Veronia. Okay. What is this clump up together? Like, <laughs> what? Uh, Yuri, Christina, okay. Alright, all of them. At Frisha. We get a look at Frisha. Interesting. Benshina's front to block everything okay so that's gonna be an interesting aspect okay I like Pierre's formation more but we will see Wildcard is going first so Christina going first hits the add-in Albion first that's interesting actually Albion going first and then we have oh hyper buff wait what Frisha just died what plus is that Frisha? Plus 15? Die in one hit? Come on. Come on. No Frisha action. Okay, Albion is dead because of Yuri. That's to be expected. So when Livia goes in, that uh, Gran will die as well. So that's rather unfortunate. So I'm guessing Wildcard will be taking it. Taking the victory. Oh, the ice spoke too soon. The ice spoke too soon. It's still a... Struggling Lyudmila because blocked by Lucius. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, Yuri trades with Glacia. Very interesting. Oh no, here comes Christina again. Christina first. It could go either way. It looks like it could go either way. It's a Lyudmila first though. Alright, Lucius is finally gone. Glacia's torn. Oh, that Yuri nullified. All right, so Pierre will be taking the victory, I believe. The Glacier will die eventually because Mikela is right there, right? Okay, still so have eight minutes. Let's watch more. Let's see. Okay, we have Flick with a fatty wafer. Lots of players have cheered for fatty wafer. So let's have a look. Flick versus Fatty Wafer. Rafitya Tunatas from Rafetti Wafer. Alright, we see this a lot of times. Livia afterwards. To Albion. To Yuri. To Adin. I like how this Yuri and Adin is in front, man. Literally in front in your face. Oh, yeah. Wait, why is the Zakan right there? Why is the Zakan? Oh, there's gonna be Lucius in front of the Zakan, I assume. Asmut in front. What? Very interesting, actually. Very interesting. Okay, I like the strategy from Fatty Waffle with Asmode in front. But isn't that Asmode plus... Oh, it's a plus 10. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So we're going to have a Natus charging up and a 
A Yuri smacking everyone. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, Christina just died. Just like that. Oh, that Asmode couldn't do much. So what's the point of the Asmode? I was trying to think. Add in going in, okay. Okay. Here comes Nathus. Oh. Alright, it is what it is. There's Livia though. There's Le Livia on Fatey Wafer. Oh no. Is Fatey Wafer gonna win? Yeah, Fatey Wafer will most likely win this one. It's quite hard to come back from this. Um, yeah, there's still Livia though. But we will see. Maybe the adding can one-shot the Grand. How did the add-in struggle with the Grand so much? It's still within the turn 50. Alright, add-in, you can do this. Go add-in. Boom! Finally! Finally, there's enough. Maybe Flick can come back. Maybe Flick can come back. Maybe Flick can come back right here. Oh! Is it a comeback? Is it a comeback from Flick? Add in power! Add in power! Actually Flick winning this one Just with a solo add in The add in carrying all the way Holy the power of Flick man 77 HP add in Alright there's no way the S mode can do anything to the add in Unless it reaches round 10 onwards right? But there's just no way at this point G G Alright, hopefully I still have time to watch one more. Five minutes. Alright, we can watch one more. We can watch one more. Let's watch... XB versus Entei. Alright, XB versus Entei. Let's go. Damn, the add-in power, man. Oh, Entei with the, with the skin. With the Glacier skin right there. Rafitya to Beliaf. Rafitya... To Livia, to Michaela. Alright, that's interesting. Oh, a Veronia to Asmod combo. I see that a lot. I like it. I like that combo a lot. Okay, we are seeing a Yuri right here. Uh huh. Beliaf. Add in. What's the point of the add in? Just to block the Christina? Blocking the Christina? I like it. I like it, but isn't the. Okay. Okay. So the add-in is going to sacrifice for another add-in. Sacrificial add-in coming. Asmut taking the hits. Oh, add-in died. Two add-ins died in the process. What the heck, man? <laughs> Just sacrificing each other's add-in along the way. Oof. Okay. Man, Yuri going in right there. Very good. Oh no, the Natas. The Natas right here. Asmode first, Natas later. Oh no! Boom! There goes Livia! Natas, Natas power. Boom! Alright, who's Natas though? XB still has his Natas. So that's the difference right here. XB still has his Natas. Entei does not have Natas anymore. But Entei still has LB. Oh my god, the Asmode power. The Asmode power. GG. Entei is gonna take it. There's nothing that this, um, yeah, there's nothing that can be done right here. Because Beliaf, all the way, sooner or later this Grand is going to do it. Yeah, it is a plus 8 Grand. Oh no, the Michaela going to kill that. Is that Michaela going to kill her? Wait, that Grand just died? Did that Grand just die? Plus 8 Grand? So that's the, the downside of using plus 8 Grand. Oh no, XB is winning this with a comeback? Oh no, oh no, there's a skeleton right there. I'm not sure what's the interaction right here. I think XB will lose because the skeleton power. Oh, let me guess. Who won? Entei won. Oh my god, because of the one skeleton? Because of one skeleton? He won? Oh man, that <laughs> belly off, man. Holy moly. Okay, let's go, go and watch the... Um, I wanted to watch this one, Mega Somia versus Aris Dina. Let's go. One skeleton, man. One skeleton.
Okay, so let's see what does Mega Soul Man and Aries Dina has. So this is gonna be interesting. Um, we have a valve on the left. Hopefully this valve will get some use. Angelica, uh-huh. Ludmilla plus 15. Lucius plus 10. Double or oh, rage runes. Fatal and rage on Lucius plus 10. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, on the right side we have Lucius plus 0, but there's a grand plus 15. Is that grand plus 15? Oh, both sides have grand plus, plus 12 right here. Interesting. Okay, what's the differences here? Both have Benshina, both have Glacier. Uh, the difference is Zakan. Aris Dina has Zakan. Okay. And Aris Dina has both have Beliaf. Beliaf plus 3 on Aris Dina. Mega Somia has Beliaf plus 10. Wow. Beliaf plus 10. Okay. What else do we have? Michaela plus 15. Oh. Michaela plus 15. Okay. Hmm. What else do we have? Most of it is the, around the same, right? Everybody has Yuri plus 14. Wait, is that Yuri plus 14? Yeah, there's Yuri plus 14 here. Both as add-in plus 15, which I don't have. Feels bad, man. <laughs> uh, both have Asmode though, but Asmode plus 10 on the left. Asmode plus 0. Asmode plus 0 on the on the right. What? Asmode plus 0, why? Why Asmode plus 0? Like, isn't a cry better at that point? Okay, let's see. There might be a hidden strategy right here. One shield, one vital. Okay. Double vital. 46k HP, 34k. Hmm. Okay. Okay, very interesting. Very interesting. But let's see who is starting out first. The important part is who is starting out first. Is it Aris Dina? Or is it Megasomia? Let's see. Let's have a look. Aris Dina is going first. Okay. Will that be the thing to go for? Will that be the thing to look out for? Is that an advantage or is that a disadvantage right here? Let's have a look. Zakan. I don't see Zakan often anymore. Zakan is pretty good. I mean that 2k HP though, isn't that kind of low? I mean a uh, 2k attack. Alright, so we have a Rafitia to Beliaf starting out strong. Let's see what's the response from Mega Somia. Still thinking? Alright, let's go. Oh, we see a Rafitia to Beliaf. Same combo. What's the third one? Any Nathas? No Nathas! I just realized both of them do not have Nathas! They are both Nathas haters! No more Nathas users right here, alright. Finally, we see Beliaf abuser. No more Nathas abusers. Okay, we see Olivia right there in the middle. Is it final though? Is it final? Is that actually it? Beliaf? To Livia in the middle. Oh wait, there's Nathas here. Okay. Wait, am I blind or something? But there's no Nathas on Mega Somia, right? Yeah, there's no Nathas on Mega Somia. There is Nathas right here. On Aries Dina. Okay. One, two, three. Triple buff. Triple buff. One, two, three. Oh, Asmode plus zero in action. We're gonna see it. And Asmode plus zero. One, two. Asmode only double buff. Natas to Christina. Okay. Okay, that Christina better be careful, man. Okay, that's a scary one. That's a scary. Is that Lackless? There's no Lackless on Megasomia. Very scary response right here. <laughs> I'm an artist abuser, but when Beliaf comes, I will be Beliaf abuser. 
Yeah, most likely uh, me as well. Alright, let's see what do we have right here. What's the response from Mega Somia? What is the response right here? Is it a Yuri first? Is he going to block it with Grand? Is he going to risk it? I mean, this Natus is... This Esmond is plus zero, man. Like, I'm not sure if players are aware. You can block that easily with a, a Grand, I think. Grand... I'm pretty sure Grand cannot... Uh, Grand will always survive. But it's a little bit risky for sure. Lucius is gonna be safer. Okay, we see a Yuri front. Yuri front. Straight up. Straight up Yuri front. Okay. He's thinking about it. Add in. Add in going top. Okay. He has 8 seconds to respond, Mega Somia. What's your two more units? Glacia back. A Glacia back. Okay, a Glacia to Lyudmila. Will that be enough? Will Aristina block with a Lucius or or Grand at the back to make sure this Lyudmila goes suicide with, with, it, with it? It's all about the power of the skeletons. It's all about the skeleton power right here. Hmm. Let's see who will be forming more Skeletons! Who will be forming more skeletons? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay! Okay! Yeah, uh, Mega Somia can just place Angelica in front. Like Angelica... Will this Livia die though? I'm just curious. Can this Christina one-shot this Livia? Possibly, because... Uh... Two buffs. Usually it's enough. Yeah. There's an add-in on the back. So he cannot place Angelica in front. He has to place a Lucius. Oh, he's gonna block with a Yuri. I'm gonna block with a Yuri. Aris Dina is actually paying attention. Doing the proper calculation. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. So Mega Soma decided not to use his s -mood. If I were Mega Somia, I would use the Asmode plus 10. Go middle, boom! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about, right? Alright, he went for Grand. A little bit risky, but I believe Grand will be able to take it. But Adina is going to come later, so why not use your Lucius? Dude, you have a Lucius plus 10! Are you sure you're going to use Lucius plus 10? You're going to risk it with the Grand? Uh, I mean, it's kind of risky though, to be honest. Kind of risky. Make sure you do the proper calculation. Ra make sure you do the proper calculation. Alright. There's a chance. There's a chance that Asmod can do it. Lucius is safer. Alright. I know he wants he wants the, the Asmod to die fast. For sure. Now this is gonna be interesting though. I like this Asmod in the bottom. But wouldn't going middle better though. Yeah, bottom because middle has Christina going in. He's leaving this Livia to die. He's just giving up on the... Angelica! He decided to scratch on s mode and go for Angelica. Alright, let's go. Okay, we're gonna see the hyper buff s mode right here. Can s mode do it? Oh, s mode could not do it! Not enough! Christina going in. Yes, Christina was enough to one-shot that Livia. Alright, here comes Beliaf. Beliaf buffing the Yuri. Okay, so there goes the chain. Adin was enough. That was enough. Adin was able to do it. Okay, so the Angelica. That Angelica. Angelica will die in round two, I think. Very risky. Oh, Natus is gonna come. Oh no. Oh no. Round two. Bottom lane. Complete wipe. No skeletons. Here comes Natus. Oh, that is so painful to watch. But there's still Glacia though. There is still Glacia. Alright, there might be hope right here. Christina dies to skeletons. Okay. So don't underestimate Yuri, Adin, and Beliaf. Alright, still. Oh no, Natus! Natus is coming! Boom! Oh my god. Oh. Why didn't he go for Asmo though? Why did he switch to Angelica at the last second? Hmm. 
So I'm not entirely sure what, what was the decision making right there. I feel like Asma would have worked better because Ignorton and stuff, right? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Because Natas would have died if Asma was there. Hmm. Okay, that was an interesting one for sure. Alright, so let's proceed to watch the remaining one in R of 16. Okay, so Ziki versus Aristina. We didn't watch this, so let's watch this. So Aristina and the smart moves. Yeah, I think Nata Asmode would have been better compared. He switched to Angelica last the last couple of seconds. Must have must have been thinking of something, right? Rafitia to Beliaf. So we have Livia to Serendia to Michaela. Okay. Very interesting. Aha, uh -huh. Rafitia to Beliaf to Michaela. And then we have an Asmode going first. Okay. Alright. Benshina at the back. Very cool, very cool. Hmm, very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Charcoal. I like the charcoal, okay. So Ziki does not have any Chris uh Rafitia. So Asmode first. Yeah, the Asmode actually just used as a scratch sacrificial. Yo, that Christina just going in all the way. Oh. Alright. Is this a GG though? Skeletons. Oh, Yuri clearing up. Yuri clearing up. Benshina. Maybe there's an impact from that Benshina. Survive Benshina. Ah, never mind. Yep. Gonna be blocked by this Lucius. GG, that's how Aristina won in the R of 16. Okay, so we still have a couple of... Alright, it's either Aristina Flick or Tombstone BTC for the R of 4. I think we'll check out Tombstone BTC afterwards. That piques my curiosity as well. Actually, let's have a look at... Magnesty, what happened to Magnesty this time around? He was the previous, one of the previous tournament winners as well. So we're gonna have a look what happened to him. Okay, Albion first, very interesting. Chalkel and Kewick, what is this man? <laughs> what is this? Chalkel and Kewick, okay, I mean, I do appreciate like different strategy. Okay, Natus is way front, Lumila is way back. Is there something that I'm not aware of? Two, three, four. Alright, I like that Q-Week, man. I actually like that Q-Week. Charcoal. Okay. There is a Cecilia. Grand in the middle. What? Grand in the middle? Is there a point for the Grand being there? Lyudmila. Oh. Oh, not sure what was Shunado thinking right there. I mean the Q-Week. Strategy was awesome, but Kiwi cannot receive buff, unlike Chalco. So yeah, and Yuri just straight up counters, counters all their usage most of the time. Oh, survive, survive. Livia going in. Oh, is there a comeback from Shunado? Maybe there's a comeback from Shunado. How is the Angelica struggling, man? How is this Angelica struggling? Plus 14? Maybe that's why. Maybe plus 14 is not enough. Floria power! Floria power! Come on, alright. I think Shunado is gonna take it. Yeah, Shunado is taking it because of the Natas dying. And then Livia, here comes Livia. Boom, holy. And this Yuri is just stuck right there. Stuck Yuri. I thought like Magnasty was gonna win for sure, but hmm.
Boom! All right, you really still have how many more times? One more time? Yeah, I don't think uh, Manasty can make a comeback right here. But what plus is this Floria? Plus 12? How is that? Uh... Oh yes, mages will not be affected. I completely forget. That Floria has 29,000 HP. Okay. <laughs> okay, Floria with 29k HP. Very interesting. First time seeing Floria though. First time seeing Floria. Alright, round 10. Here comes Livia. Zoom. Easy. Alright. That was an interesting one for sure. Very interesting. Alright, we still have 6 minutes. 6 minutes. Let's watch a couple more. Alright, I already watched the... Ahagao BTC Alright, we still don't know anything about Tombstone 1, 2, 3 So let's watch one match from him I see he has a Floria plus 14 as well So that could be the reason why he won Let's see Let's see Natus Okay, okay what do we have? Floria! Floria at the back. Floria to Albion. Velfern! Okay, so Tombstone 1, 2, 3. Looks like a Floria abuser to me. Okay, there is an S mode to take care of that. Of that Natus. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, that Grand is gonna have so much HP. Okay, somebody got sacrificed right there and it's Rafitia. Rather unfortunate. Oh. Uh oh. Not looking good. How did the Velf. What? Okay, Velfen is plus zero. Okay. Okay, Velfen plus zero. I get it. But why not block with someone like Lucius or something? Did he not have. Did he not have them? Alright, Tombstone 1, 2, 3 is taking it. Looks like an easy win. Alright, first time seeing Flora in action though. Alright, we have 4 minutes left. Okay, let's watch one more. Let's watch one more. Last one. Okay, we're gonna watch Atrax versus Mega Somia. Just a quick last match before we proceed to the R of 4. R of 4 is where it's at. Rafitia to Beliaf. Rafitia to Beliaf to Veronia. Uh huh. Yuri. Velfern. Oh, I like it. Finally, a Velfern in action. Yeah, that Velfern is gonna die to that, to that Angelica, isn't, isn't he? Will Atrax win this? Atrax might be winning this. Let's see. Livia charging up. We have Asmund going in. Christina hits the Glacier. Purify? Oh! That strategy works out. Purify. Here comes plenty of Skeletons. Hyper buff. Oh! Double Skeleton just like that. Yuri going in smacking the enemy. Yuri going in again. Angelica hit Valfern. Valfern survive! Yo, the Angelica is underpowered. Plus 15. Not enough. Adin going in. Frozen Adin. Frozen. Oh, it's not enough. Yo, Dalvi at the last second. The Dalvi move last, okay. Alright, here comes Asmut again. Can we see a Valfern action right here? Can we see a Valfern action? No, it's Ludmilla first. Oh, Valfern finally dies. GG, Megasomia is taking this. Yep. Ludmilla alone is not enough. Ludmilla alone can't do much. Okay, skeleton is form. Zoom. Dangerous Rambler, what's up? Welcome to the live stream. Alright, let's prepare to watch this. 
Tombstone. One, two, three versus BTC. Okay, so what do we have on both parties and who do you guys vote for? I'm guessing majority chair for BTC, right? Like 3,500 chairs, why not? Okay, so what does Tombstone has? From what I gathered so far in his previous matches, Floria is very unique to him only. Floria, he's one of the few only users that uses Floria. Natus plus 15 still, Natus abuser. And Adin abuser as always. And Refitia and Livia. Okay, so his Floria is going to pair with the Albion, buffing the Grand at plus 12. So on the right side, we have BTC, already look at his units earlier. Chalker and Zakan user right here. Very good if he goes second, but he does have a Belia plus 5 and Lackley's plus 9. Alright, lots of interesting approach right here. Okay, so let's see if he has what it takes. Lucius plus 10 though. Lucius plus 0 on Tombstone. Lucius plus 10 on BTC, will that plus 0 and plus 10 make a difference? We might see it right here, there's a chance. Sometimes that can be the difference. That couple of death guards, man. Alright, so let me know who do you guys think will win. If you guys think Tombstone 1, 2, 3 will win, type 1, 2, 3. And if you guys think BTC will win, type 4, 5, 6. Interested to know your cheers? Let's go. Okay, I see a lot of 4, 5, 6. A lot of people thinking that BTC will win this, but we will see. We will see. Majority seems to be leading towards BTC. <laughs> Spinosis the fat boy, what if I type X Lyra? Uh, you can't. He's not on this server. Alright, let's go. One, two, three, first. Aha, uh -huh. let's see who is going first. BTC is going first. Let's see if your 4, 5, 6 cheers. Are you guys right? Let's go. Beliaf, 2. Okay, that is interesting. Beliaf to Michaela. Remember, BTC does not have Rafitia. He doesn't have Rafitia and he made it this far. That is impressive. Alright. So will this Beliaf to Michaela strat work out for him right here? in all the way in this high bracket. Let's see. Alright, so what's the response from 1, 2, 3 right here? Rafitia to Michaela to Natas. I mean, that's the usual one. And then it's like Albion to Floria. Floria to Albion or something later on. Or maybe it's Albion right now. It's possible that it's Albion right now. Isn't that Michaela a little bit back? Yeah, that's better. That is better. Alright, that is way better. Let's see. That is interesting, man. That is interesting. Not this middle. Okay. There's going to be skeletons everywhere regardless. And... BTC does have a Lucius plus 10, remember? If he can block the Nathus with a plus 10 Lucius, that's going to be hard to, to kind of back it up. Okay, Tombstone 1, 2, 3, still deciding. No mistakes can be made right here. Boom. Time's up. Okay, let's see what else do we have. So I'm guessing a follow-up. I am guessing a Natus to Livia. It makes sense for those two to come out first. And then maybe a Chalker as well. But where will BTC place them though? Where will B Lyudmila? BTC went with the Lyudmila. Wait, he removed it immediately. <laughs> He's still thinking. 
still thinking. Natus, okay. We have a Natus or Natus action right here. That is gonna be interesting. But keep in mind, there's a Cecilia. There's a Cecilia on Tombstone. So I would prefer a Natus to Dalvi or something, just so that that Cecilia is gone permanently, as opposed to Lyudmila. Because. I mean, can be bought with Glacia still, but we will see. It's only a single buff with Mila, but it is a plus 15. Alright, it's a plus 15. Angelica soloing the lane top. What's the response from Tombstone? 1, 2, 3. Okay. So I don't see Livia on both parties yet. So this Livia is plus 0, plus 10. Okay, it makes sense. Oh, a response with a Lyudmila on his own from Tombstone 1, 2, 3 right there. And then there's an Albion. Floria. Ah, oh, come on. BTC should have gone with a, a Dalvi, I think. Oh, he doesn't have a Dalvi? Or an add-in or something just to... Hmm... Yeah, that's, that's going to be interesting. But both of the Natas seems to be completely dead, I think. So that we won't see Natas action. Most likely, we will just see skeletons. Oh, there's a Cecilia. There is a Cecilia. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Alright, Tombstone might, might actually got this. He will be able to one-shot BTC's Natas because his Lumila is right there. Unless, unless BTC has a good way of responding to that. Let's see. We're gonna see a Floria to Albion to a Grand somewhere later. There's the Yuri here. This Yuri is gonna go in. So if I were Tombstone, I would place a Grand bottom uh, where we receive the Albion's buff and maybe a Lucius in front of the Grand. BTC. Lucius plus 10 from BTC. Oh, he removed the Lucius plus 10 and he plays Livia instead. He knows there's a Grand coming. He knows there's a Grand coming. Alright, there's a Livia. That's the response right there. Okay. Lucius. Going for Lucius right there. Okay. Alright, will this be enough though? Will this be enough? Alright, he has one final decision to make, and that is just to press the button. Still deciding on BTC, will he get... Alright, he made his final decision. He made his final decision. Let's see if this is enough. Add in bottom to block against the Yuri, makes sense, and a Grand. Okay, so that's what I thought something like along those lines would make sense. From Tombstone, one, two, three. Let me guess, he's deciding, he's calculating, he's doing as much calculation as he can. His Natus will survive, yep. Tombstone's Natus will survive. I would prefer if uh, Christina or something goes in later on, but yeah, it is what it is. He went for Lyudmila. Okay, so Tombstone is hesitating. He has 25 seconds. That's the strategy here. Don't rush. Alright, always think it through. Always think it through. Always calculate again. If In case you made a mistake, you might be able to back it up a little bit and cover back up that mistake you just did. Aha, uh -huh, now he has 7 seconds. Still deciding. Still deciding. Will he finally do it? There we go. Alright, so let's go. BTC is going to go first with a belly off to Mikela. Mikela is going to buff that Natas. Natas charging up. And then we have a Lyudmila. One shotting the Cecilia. Yes, that was possible. Alright, from Tombstone, one, two, three is end. We have a Natas hyper buff, double buff. Lyudmila, Kablam. Both skeletons acquired right there. Alright, so let's go. Now we have a Floria Grand. Floria Albion buff grand. That is insane. Alright, Adin going in. Angelica and not just Angelica, we have Adin as well. It's not enough, but there's Livia. 
There is Livia coming. That Natus is most likely gonna die. That Natus will die from the skeletons, but the Natus will wipe two skeletons. Okay, three dead. Yuri going in. Livia? Will Livia be enough right here? Will Livia be enough? From BTC. Boom! Oh, the add-ins of. Oh, that Livia is plus zero? Oh, come on. That Livia is plus zero. Oh no. The add-in. The add-in. If only that Livia was plus three. Oh my god. <laughs> that Livia is plus zero. Why? Alright, looks like the add-in will take it. Man, why do you have a Livia plus zero? Why? Why do you not at least make a plus three? The add-in would have been dead. You would have won. You would have won. <laughs> If that Livia was a plus freaking tray. Ugh. Ugh. Man, Tombstone 1, 2, 3, man. Tombstone 1, 2, 3. Come on. Alright, this add in, man. Look at this add in's HP. What is this? 5k add in HP? 8k HP on add in? <laughs> Alright. Alright, so that Floria buff. On that add-in, looks like it works pretty well. Okay, so if only that Livia was plus three, come on, why would you plus? I mean, maybe he doesn't have the skill books, all right? Maybe he doesn't have the legend books. It is what it is, all right? But that is a difference between how many diamonds difference was that? Holy, that is almost 1.5k difference in diamonds. Livia plus three, Livia plus zero. All right, if you made it to R of, if you made it to finals, the difference between R of four and second place, 3,800 diamonds, 5,300 diamonds. If only you have a Livia plus three. If only you are willing to sacrifice two legend books, you could have gotten what? 5,300 diamonds as opposed to 3,800. Ah, ah. <laughs> it is what it is. Like we should all learn from these mistakes right here. All right, so let's continue watch the R of it. We have a lot of matches to be watching right here. All right. Interesting ones, interesting ones. Okay, let's watch Flick versus Pierre. Lucius is better off plus zero, yeah. Yeah, Lucius plus 10, man, that Lucius is plus 10. Okay, so let's see. We have a uh, Michaela, Donatus. Okay, Pierre and the strategy again. This time with, uh, with a Yuri, okay. All right, Zakan at the back. That's gonna protect against Donatus dying, I believe. All right, I like it. I like the strategy. Add in. Okay, very interesting. Will Pierre get countered though? Will the Ludmilla die to that Zakan right here? Let's have a look. And Natus survive, yes. That's a very good way to protect your Natus. Uh, besides Cecilia, of course. Aha! Uh -huh. Yuri going in. Extreme block right there. Extreme block. Zoop. Okay, Frisha. Will we get to see some Frisha action? Oh, Frisha! One shotting Gran. I mean, it's a shield rune Gran. Free shot is plus 15 after all. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is a hyper buff. Yuri going in. Man, that, that Natus is coming. Natus. Oof. Oh no. This is gonna be very close. But yeah, Flick will take it. He has more warriors available to him. All right, so we have about seven minutes before we watch the finals. We will wait it out for now. Let's watch the rest of the R of eight. Hmm. All right, let's watch the R of four. Aristina versus Flick. What happened right there? All right, so because we know that Tombstone proceeded. How about Aristina versus Flick? All right, a Rafitia to Michaela, a Beliaf. Natus, 
Okay, I like the Natas to Christina to Yuri right there. Very good. Uh huh. We have an Angelica as well. Okay, very interesting approach. Very interesting approach. Okay, so we have a Lucius. All right, interesting. Okay, Ludmila all the way at the back. That will take care. That Natas is completely exposed from Flick right there. So not sure I like it. It's like literally completely exposed. Someone was sacrificed and it was a Yuri. It is what it is, right? Okay, okay. Oh my god! <laughs> what just happened right there? Just went to the middle? Okay, but that... Uh, yeah, that Natas will die. So there's that. So the problem right now is the Lucius on the left, on Aristina. Can this hanging on? Can this... How did that Lyudmila survive? Very interesting. Very interesting. Alright, regardless, I think Flick is gonna win. There's only so much can be done right here. There's only so much. Oh, Charm. Okay, it is an add-in. But there's still Dalby. Lucius plus one. Interesting. Interesting. GG. Okay, so the final round will start in about five minutes. Alright, let's go and watch one more from R of 8, I guess. Let's see. Ante versus BTC. I guess we could watch one of these. Shunado Tombstone. Did we watch this already? Oh, this is the guy with the Qwik and, and Zakan, right? Yeah, let's watch this one. There's a Floria as well. There is a Floria as well. Okay, so Rafitia to Michaela. Alright, so we have a Rafitia Chuckle to Qwik. Very interesting. Qwik, you don't see much Qwiks often. Velfren as well. Floria. Everybody actually has Floria right here. Okay. And then we have Livia to... Okay, okay, maybe we'll get to see some interesting Floria action right here. Alright, Natas charging up. Floria buffing Albion. Albion charge up. A lot of supporters chain right here. Add in going in. Not sure why is that Natas exposed like that, but okay. It is what it is. Albion buff. Albion buffing Chalkal as well. So here comes Yuri! Oh, Yuri just... What? That Grand... Oh, the Albion died, okay. Man, Yuri is so good. Like, there's just no point going for Chalko QX anymore. Because Yuri can clear skeletons... In such a fashionly manner. Kablam! Velfen going in. Uh-oh. There's Livia still? Oh, Livia is not plus 10. Ah, that Mikaela could have died. Don't think it matters. Yeah, I don't think it matters. Tombstone will be taking this victory for sure. Yep. Natas bait. Most likely. Most likely it was just a Natas bait. Alright, we still have 3 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna proceed with the final round. Ah, uh, this is... The last, see the last final match for this season. All right. Okay, so Tombstone one two three made it all the way, and Flick made it all the way. If you look at their cheers, these two are the underdogs. All right, they don't have three thousand cheers, they don't have four thousand cheers, they only have a measly one hundred and three hundred cheers. Yet they made it all the way to finals. Yes. Alright, if you guys think Tombstone 1, 2, 3 will win, type 1, 2, 3 in the chat right now. And if you think Flick will win, type 4, 5, 6. Let's have a go at it. Let's see who do you guys think will win. <laughs> Lee. 
little panda church just a number yep it's just a number but yeah majority of those guys will not be getting the bonus tickets and stuff which kind of sucks everyone cheer for the one having higher rank so majority of you guys voted for one two three for tombstone one two three very interesting a small number of you voted for flick well flick does have the higher amount of of cheers almost 200 more cheers maybe like 180 more Flick has nothing to kill Albion Grand. You're right. Flick doesn't have anything. But, hmm. He does have. Let's see. But how strong is this Grand? This Grand has one children. So if Flick is smart enough, he can use his Dalvi early on. Right? I know there's a Floria on, on Tombstone. But I think Dalvi with. A hyper buff Dalvi can do it. Alright? Hyper buff Dalvi can do it and he needs to do it early. If the Dalvi do it too late, by then the Floria buff already like given Grand like 40k HP or something. Uh Shin Sentaku, you might not want to vote for me. I I'm not participating in the I will most likely not be participating in the tournament on Asia server. Dalvi won't kill Grand with Floria. Uh, he has to. He can do it, but he has to do it early on, and he has to be like double or triple buff depending on the amount of runes, amount of attack. How good is this rune? Oh, this rune is pretty bad. Yeah, it's not the best rune ever. Hmm. Let's see. How much? Floria is plus what? Plus 14, okay. Okay, that's gonna be half. A uh, heart. Because Floria at plus 14 will give 20% of her HP. This Floria does has 8k HP. One way he can do it is to try to kill the Floria first. I mean, that could be an option. Right? So... Try to kill the Floria as fast as you can, um, unless that Floria is positioned really bad. But there's a chance. There's a ch let's go, let's go. All right, majority of you guys voted for one, two, three. Let's see who will go first. Who will Tombstone one, two, three is moving first. All right. So let's see what's the strategy here from Tombstone one, two, three. Will he have the advantage? So he has Rafitia to Michaela. Okay. Very interesting, very interesting. Alright, so we see uh, Rafitia all the way in front. He's not scared. He's not scared with this Rafitia in front. So, Flick, take advantage of this. Someone needs to deal with this. Rafitia right here, come on. Deal with her immediately. While you still have the chance. Alright, Flick, what's the solution right here? I'm gonna go with the Nathas. Natas abuser, let's see. Will Natas help you right here in the final final round of this tournament? Alright, Tombstone, what's the response right here? What's the response? Natas! Natas, okay. Okay. I like this. I like this. Alright, if Flick is smart, he will go with Adin first. Smack this Rafitia, I think. And then maybe go with a Yuri or something. I don't know. Let's see. Floria. That Floria is exposed! Dude, destroy that Floria immediately. Kill that Floria immediately. Alright. Oh man, there's no Serubia. If there's a Serubia to, to Lyudmila, that could have worked easily. Alright. Tombstone. Tombstone is nervous. His units are spread apart, I have no idea why. Okay, 4, 5. I'm expecting a grand soon. Okay, Tombstone's decision is final. Tombstone's decision is final. Alright, so we see a Yuri going in. Okay, that Yuri will hit and hopefully take care of the Albion. Hopefully that will take care of Albion. 
that will mess up a lot of things. If Albion dies, Floria's buff will go to Livia, right? And Livia cannot receive the uh, the HP buff. So that's the only way Flick can win. If he, he use Yuri first, there is Livia. There is Livia, okay. That's a thing. That's a thing, actually. But then it could be a trick from Tombstone. It might be a Albion to Glacia instead, right? Or Albion to Lucius, possibly. It could be... It could be a thing. Let's see. Alright. Very smart positioning from Flick. Very smart positioning from Flick. Let's see. What's the response from Tombstone right here? What's the response from Tombstone? One, two, three, four. Christina! Oh my god, this Christina is going to go in. This is going to be tough. Flick, do you have Cecilia? Flick does have Cecilia. He might have to play Cecilia to protect against the Cecilia onslaught. Does he have a Lacklis? No, Lacklis will not work. It's turn 7. It's turn 7. Alright, very interesting approach from Tombstone. 1, 2, 3. Oh! It's a Cecilia to Yuri to Grant. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. And why is none of them using their add-in? What? They both have add-in plus 15? They're not gonna use it? What's wrong with them? What's wrong with both of them? Use your freaking add-in, come on. Tombstone, are you sure you're not using your add-in? Dude, you sure you don't want to use your add-in? Okay. Tombstone, you should have used your Lyudmila. You should have used your Lyudmila to one... Tombstone, I'm not sure if that's a mistake. Hopefully you did not make a mistake. Instead of this Yuri, you should have used a Lyudmila to place it in the middle. That gamble would have been worth it. Alright, here comes the Yuri. Yuri to add in. Livia might die. Livia might die. Alright. Alright, this is it. This is it. Is it final? Okay, the add-in is placed back. Livia is not dying. Livia is not dying. Livia will survive. Will this be it? Will this be a final decision? I actually like Flick's positioning. Benshina! He's going with the Benshina strat. Oh, Benshina. Add-in, back to add-in. He's hesitating. Flick is hesitating. He removed it. He moved add-in to the bottom. Why did he move add-in to the bottom? Why did he do it? Is he sacrificing the... You're sacrificing your Livia? Are you sacrificing your Livia? Yo, your Christine, that Yuri will smack. There's a Glacia. Okay. Three seconds, two seconds, one. Time's up. Let's go. Decision is final. Who will win? All right, will it be one, two, three? Will it be four, five, six? Let's go. Here comes Christina. All right, we know that Christina is going to go in after Nata's buff. After the Floria, Albion, whatever. Man, this guy chains all the way to number seven. Bo oh my god! Oh my god, Natas and Yuri just died! Natas and Yuri just died. Oh my god. Not sure if I like that. Oh my god, Yuri! Smacking Rafitia in the face. Livia just died as well. Oh my god. Is there hope for Flick right here? Why did he remove Cecilia? Why did he remove Cecilia? Why? Oh no! Natas will die. Trade, whatever. Does it matter though at this point? Does it matter? Here comes Livia. Adin? Can Adin do it alone? Can Adin do it alone? G, G, Adin is gonna get shock. Gonna get whatever. Oh man, this is a. This is. Man, Cecilia, why do you remove Cecilia? Why? Alright, Livia will one-shot the add-in. The add-in is shocked right now. Yeah, there's nothing that the add-in can do right now. It's just... Yeah. GG. Alright, so tournament winner will be Tombstone. One, two, three. Congratulations. He's the winner. For April, America's Server Tournament. Alright, congratulations to, Tombs, uh, to Flick as well for making it all the way to the end 
all right he'll be getting everything he will be getting let's see second place 5300 diamonds still pretty good still pretty good gg all right congrats to everyone who participated that was an epic one for sure man that was holy that was interesting for sure if he plays the cecilia at the end right i think he could have won so let's watch that again we're gonna watch that again we're gonna see why did he decide to remove cecilia all right at the end right there he decided to remove cecilia was he worried about yuri though so this is what he he has all right this is what tombstone went with okay tombstone went with this and then okay so we know there's a i actually like the christina response i would prefer a, a Lyudmila in the middle but i actually like the christina response as well but it's just that hmm so at this point why not cecilia in the middle right doesn't it make sense cecilia in the middle add in on top if you're not just leave i mean yuri can leave as well right yuri can smack albion in the face later on and then you can slowly move and eliminate Livia later on. Oh man. So he went with Glacia. Why Glacia? Is it because of Livia? Why Glacia though? I don't I don't get the Glacia part. It must have been a mistake right here. It must. Must have been a mistake right here. Because the Glacia was. Yeah, and then from that point, that, that Rafitia smacked the Livia as well. I feel like if his Livia leave, if Flick's Livia leave, he might have won. Alright, that Livia would have one shot the Gran, because that Gran is like... That Gran is literally just right there, right now. Alright? And then when that Gran dies, this Adin would have gone in and destroyed this Livia and this Flora right here. And he would he would have won, I think. Ah, uh, why? Yeah, he would have gone for Edin and... I feel like Edin and Cecilia was the call. He just forgot about Christina. Yo, that really sucks. Oof. That's a big oof. Yeah, that's a GG for sure. But it's interesting to be able to see some Floria in action, I guess. Uh, very interesting, actually. Never thought I would have seen this. Alright guys, so this has been a fun one. Extremely fun one for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed the tournament and enjoy my broadcast as much as I do enjoy doing it. So yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully, maybe not next month, I don't think I'll be broadcasting next month, not sure, but we will see how it is. But I will have my own tournament tomorrow, not sure if I'll be joining, most likely not, please do not cheer for me. And yep, I'm gonna end the broadcast right here. As always, guys, stay safe, alright, stay safe, regardless of where you're from, from different parts of the world, stay safe, wash your hands often, and yes, lots of love right here. <laughs> Don't be absent. Yeah. Have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.